الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله واصحابه والتابعين لهم باحسان الى يوم الدين اما بعد ان شاء الله تعالى in today's Friday night reflection I'm going to be speaking about الفرار الى الله تعالى fleeing to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us in the womb of our mothers as Allah mentioned in the Quran wallahu akhrajakum min butuni ummahatikum Allah brought you out of the womb of your mothers each and every one of us when we came out of this womb of our mothers we were one of two types we were either may Allah make us from them Fariqun fil jannah the su'ada the righteous people i ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bi manhi wa karamihi uh, with allah's generosity and kindness that allah makes us from those people and the second group of people which we seek refuge in allah from and we beg him from the bottom of our, of our hearts that he protects us from it and that is the path of the ashqiya the criminals and the wrongdoers There's, there's a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam he said on the authority of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu inna ahadakum yujma'u khalqu fi batni ummihi arba'ina yawman nutfa thumma yakunu alaqatan mithla dhalik thumma yakunu mudgatan mithla dhalik thumma yursalu ilayhi malak fayunfaqu fihi al-ruh wa yu'maru bi arba'i kalimat bi katbi rizqihi wa ajalihi wa amalihi shaqiyun aw sa'id the Prophet وسلم, he said in his hadith that we, in the womb of our mothers, we went through procedures. And we went through stages, marahil, levels, in which we, our creation started from. And it's spoken in, le- in details in the science of embryology. Allah wa ta'ala, once he made the person and the ruh was blown into them, the angel was commanded to write a few things. His provision. His lifespan. For how long is this person going to live for? How long are they going to be in this world? His action. Is he going to be from the criminals? Or is he going to be from the, right, uh, the, the, the good doers? The righteous people. We were written to be from one of those groups. Then the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explained to us, he said alayhi salatu wa sallam, إِنَّ أَحَدَكُمْ لَيَعْمَلُ بِعَمَلِ أَهْلِ الْجَنَّةِ حَتَّى مَا يَكُونُ بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَهَا إِلَّا ذِرَاعَ فَيَسْبِقُ عَلَيْهِ الْكِتَابِ فَيَعْمَلُ بِعَمَلِ أَهْلِ النَّارِ فَيَدْخُلُهَا وَإِنَّ أَحَدَكُمْ لَيَعْمَلُ بِعَمَلِ أَهْلِ النَّارِ حَتَّى مَا يَكُونُ بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَهَا إِلَّا ذِرَاعَ فَيَسْبِقُ عَلَيْهِ الْكِتَابِ فَيَعْمَلُ بِعَمَلِ أَهْلِ الْجَنَّةِ فَيَدْخُلُهَا أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام that the person he would act and he would do the action of the people of good the people of Jannah for as long as he lives until the last moments of his life and he changes and he flips he does the actions of the people of the hellfire and he dies in that state and that is how he dies and then the Prophet وسلم, he said the opposite a person who does the action of the people of the hellfire for all of his life and that last moment the person changes he changes from, from being a criminal, a wrongdoer, a sinner uh, to a righteous person and he dies in that state. This hadith, my beloved brothers and sisters, it gives us the understanding that the people are two types. Su'ada and Ashqiya. Su'ada are the righteous people. The people Allah loves subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then we have the Ashqiya, the criminals, the wrongdoers. Inshallah ta'ala, I want to speak about how do we flee to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? A few things that we can do. I'm only going to mention one per Friday night reflection, inshallah ta'ala. Today I'm going to speak about Al Firaru ilallah ta'ala bit tawbatin nasuh. Fleeing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with repentance. Fafirru ilallah inni lakum minu nadirum mubin. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He says, 
So flee to your Lord. Run to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inni lakum verily I am for you. Minhu nadirun mubin. A clear warner from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My beloved brothers and sisters, this ayah commands us, it instructs us that we run back to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, that we flee to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. How do we flee? That we flee from disbelief and we flee to iman. We flee from shirk to tawheed. We flee from innovation to sunnah. We flee from sinning to obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We flee from ignorance to knowledge, from heedlessness to remembering Allah wa ta'ala, from misguidance to guidance. That's what it means, فَفِرُّوا إِلَى اللَّهِ Flee to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The person, he flees from ignorance and he flees to knowledge. The person flees from disbelief and kufr billahi al-'ali al and they come to al-iman. The person he flees from shirk and he flees to tawheed. The person flees from innovation and they flee to a sunnah. The person he flees from disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The person he flees from going against the path Allah sanctioned to the path that he sanctioned and he running away from misguidance and coming to, to, to guidance. فَفِرُّوا إِلَى اللَّهِ Flee to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My beloved brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test his slave. فِي الصَّرَّاءِ وَالضَّرَّاءِ In the times of ease and even in the hard times of hardship, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test a person. Allah will test a person بِالشَّرِّ وَالْخَيْرِ Allah will test you with good and Allah will test you with evil. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will do that subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will test you bil hasanati wa sayyiat. Allah will test you with righteous things, good things, and He will test you with bad things, subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of this is a test Allah will put you through, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And based on this, Allah will determine, or Allah will make it happen, brothers and sisters, based on this, Allah will make it, you become one of the two, those who flee to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and those who flee away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Qur'an, وَبَلَوْنَاهُمْ بِالْحَسَنَاتِ وَالسَّيِّئَاتِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ We tested them with good and we tested them with bad. Allah mentions that subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why did He test us with good and bad? لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ So we return back to Him. That we go running to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also Allah says in another ayah, وَلَنُذِيقَنَّهُمْ مِنَ الْعَذَابِ الْأَدْنَى دُونَ الْعَذَابِ الْأَكْبَرِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ Allah said, we will test them. With what? Min al adab al adna. We will test them with a punishment in this world before the hereafter. Why? La'allahum yarji'oon. So they return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They go back to Him. La'allahum yarji'oon. This is the illa. All of this, why Allah is doing it? So you return back to Him. So you flee to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in another ayah, وَلَقَدْ أَهْلَكْنَا مَا حَوْلَكُمْ مِنَ الْقُرَى وَصَرَّفْنَا الْآيَاتِ وَصَرَّفْنَا الْآيَاتِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ Allah says, وَلَقَدْ أَهْلَكْنَا We have destroyed مَا حَوْلَكُمْ مِنَ الْقُرَى The villages and the towns around you we destroyed it, Allah says. وَصَرَّفْنَا الْآيَاتِ We changed the verses. لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ And the purpose we did this is so that the people can return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another ayah, Allah says, ظَهَرَ الْفَسَادُ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِ النَّاسِ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِ النَّاسِ لِيُذِيقَهُمْ بَعْضَ الَّذِي عَمِلُوا لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ Allah says, ظَهَرَ الْفَسَادُ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ The corruption has become apparent on the earth. It's clear that this world, fitan and fasad is taking place. And the fasad is clear on this earth. And the reason Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, He says, Zahra al-fasadu fil barri wal bahri bima kasabat aydi nas It is all because of what the children of Adam have put forward. That's the reason. Bima kasabat aydi nasi liyudhiqahum ba'dha alladhi amilu And the reason for this is for Allah to taste some of the people for what they've done. 
لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ And the purpose for this is that they return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will test a person with richness, wealth. He'll give you money, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will test a person with poverty. And He'll take all of that away from them. Allah will test a person with health. And Allah will test a person with sickness. Allah wa ta'ala, He will test the people with the earthquake, earthquake, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah may even send them a punishment from high above. Allah Taala may let make the life tight from this person. All of this is because of the sins that the person does. The person, what should they do at this time? لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ All of those verses at the ending, Allah was saying what? لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ So they return back to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. You come running to Allah تبارك وتعالى. ظهر الفساد في البر والبحر بما كسبت أيدي الناس ليذيقهم بعض الذي عملوا لعلهم يرجعون. ولقد أهلكنا ما حولكم من القرى وصرفنا الآيات لعلهم يرجعون. الله سيدنا سبحانه وتعالى. وبلوناهم بالحسنات والسيئات لعلهم يرجعون. ولا نذيقهم ولا نذيقنهم من العذاب الأدنى دون العذاب الأكبر لعلهم يرجعون. All of those verses Allah is saying لعلهم يرجعون لعلهم يرجعون لعلهم يرجعون. Why? ففروا إلى الله. Flee to Allah سبحانه وتعالى. Run to Him. Now my beloved brothers and sisters who are watching. والفرار نوعان. The people who flee to Allah are two types. There are two types. The first one is فرار السعداء. And the second one is firaru al ashqiya the ones who the righteous people how they flee to Allah subhanahu wa taala and the second one is the criminals who flee to Allah subhanahu wa taala and they do it differently firaru suada the the righteous people the noble people how do they flee to Allah they flee from Allah to Allah that's what they do. الفرار من الله إلى الله. They flee from Allah to Allah. How do they do that? They flee from Allah, what Allah hates to what Allah loves. What do they do? They flee from the anger of Allah to the that which pleases Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. They flee from the the wrath of Allah and His punishment to the rewarding and the blessings of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. الفرار من الله إلى الله. Fleeing from Allah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they do this ظاهراً وباطناً. They do this in their hearts. And they do it from the outer. It's not something that's on their tongue. They do it externally and internally. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about those righteous people. ففروا إلى الله. Turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. عبد الله بن عباس. The great Sahabi, when he came to the ayah, ففروا إلى الله, run and flee to Allah, he said, فروا منه إليه, وعملوا بطاعته. He's talking about the righteous ones. جعلني الله وإياكم الله, make you and me from it. What did they do? He said, they فروا منه إليه, they ran from Allah to him, سبحانه وتعالى, وعملوا بطاعته. وعملوا بطاعته and they did the righteous actions they obeyed him subhanahu wa ta'ala ولذلك the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم he said in the hadith الإمام المسلم narrated in his sahih اللهم إني أعوذ برضاك من سخطك وبمعافاتك من عقوبتك وأعوذ بك منك لا أحسي ثناء عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك the Prophet وسلم, from his dua was Allahumma O oh Allah Inni a'udhu I seek refuge Biridaka min sakhatik I seek refuge in you O oh Allah In that which pleases you from that which angers you Al-firaru minhu ilayhi You're running away from the wrath of Allah and Allah becoming angry with you and you're running to what? The obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then look what he says, وَبِمُعَافَاتِكَ مِنْ عُقُوبَتِكَ And the good and the bliss and the ni'am that you bring over what? مِنْ عُقُوبَتِكَ The punishments that you give. Oh Allah, I'm running to your, your يعني, the blessings that you give from that which you punish us with. وَأَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنْكَ Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from yourself. 
لا أحسي ثناء عليك Oh Allah, I can't praise you the way you deserve to be praised. أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك You are, oh Allah, the way that you praise yourself. سبحانه وتعالى This hadith, I mean this dua, the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم is teaching us كيف, how, أن الفرار يكون من الله إلى الله How does one run away from Allah to Allah? And the Messenger taught us in this من معصية الله إلى طاعته To run away from the disobedience of Allah To run to the obedience of Allah ولذلك The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم He used to say If he wanted to sleep He used to say this, the following dua Allahumma O oh Allah أسلمت نفسي إليك I have surrendered myself to you, O oh Allah. ووجهت وجهي إليك And I have directed myself towards you. وفوضت أمري إليك And I have placed my affairs in your hand, O oh Allah. وألجهت ظهري إليك And I have made you, O oh Allah, be the one that protects my back. رغبة ورهبة إليك O oh Allah, hoping you and I'm doing this fear, fearing you. Ponder here. رغبة ورهبة إليك أو oh الله I am scared of you أو oh الله I am hoping from you لا ملجأ ولا ملجأ لا ملجأ ولا منجأ إلا إليك there is no place to run to there is no one to go to except you أو oh الله آمنت أو oh الله I believe بكتابك الذي أنزلت I believe in the book that you have sent down وبنبيك الذي أرسلت and the messenger that you sent this is also another dua of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which, is, which teaches us Al-firaru yakunu min Allah ila Allah Fleeing happens from Allah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala That's the first type of people Those who run away from Allah and they run to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Now let's look at um, Al-firaru al ashqiya the ones, the, the criminals who run away from Allah. They run from Allah, but they don't run to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأَيْنَ المفر? Where are you going to really run to, my beloved brothers and sisters? وَالْإِلَاهُ الطَّالِبُ Where can someone run to? Where can someone flee to? When Allah is the one we're all going to return back to. Where is a person going to run to, my beloved brothers and sisters, when death is going to come your way? You can run away from Allah as much as you want, but you're going to come back to Him. So these criminals, they don't understand that. Allah says in the Quran, قُلْ إِنَّ الْمَوْتَ الَّذِي تَفِرُّونَ مِنْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاقِيكُمْ Allah is saying, say to them, Muhammad, the ones who are fleeing from death, قُلْ إِنَّ الْمَوْتَ الَّذِي تَفِرُّونَ مِنْهُ those who are trying to flee from Allah by running away from death. فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاقِيكُمْ Verily death will come your way. You're trying to escape it. You're trying to get away from it. But it's going to come to you. فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاقِيكُمْ Death will come your way. ثُمَّ after that تُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَةِ You will be returned back to Allah. The one who knows the unseen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَيُنَبِّئُكُمْ أَنَّ اللَّهُ will inform you of بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ That which you used to do. Let's ponder over this verse. Allah is saying, قُلْ إِنَّ الْمَوْتَ الَّذِي تَفِرُّونَ مِنْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاقِيكُمْ ثُمَّ تُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَةِ فَيُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ Those who are running away from death, who think they can escape it and they have another route, remember that death will come your way. أَيْنَمَا تَكُونُوا يُدْرِكُمُ الْمَوْتِ وَلَوْ كُنْتُمْ فِي بُرُوجٍ مُشَيَّدَةٍ Wherever you are, death will come to you. Even if you are in a, a strong fortress, if you are in a cemented house built strongly, death will come to you over there as well. And then when it comes, ثُمَّ تُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ you're going to be returned to Allah, the one who sees everything. They, there's nothing you can hide from Him. ثُمَّ يُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ Allah will tell you everything you used to say. 
and everything you used to do. Also Allah wa ta'ala He says about Yawmul Qiyamah يَقُولُ الْإِنسَانُ أَيْنَ الْمَفَرُ This is the Al-Firar Al-Ashqiyah The criminals want to flee from Allah They are going to say Yawmul Qiyamah يَقُولُ الْإِنسَانُ أَيْنَ الْمَفَرُ Where can we run to? Where can we flee? Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala He says كَلَّا لَا وَزَرْ إِلَى رَبِّكَ يَوْمَ إِذِنِ الْمُسْتَقَرْ يُنَبَّأُ الْإِنسَانُ يَوْمَ إِذٍ بِمَا قَدَّمَ وَأَخَّرْ بَلِ الْإِنسَانُ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ بَصِيرَةٌ وَلَوْ أَلْقَى مَعَاذِيرَةٌ The person today, there's no way you can run. There's no way you can escape. You're standing in front of Allah and you're going to be told, يُنَبِّئُ Allah will inform you subhanahu wa ta'ala the insan بِمَا قَدَّمَ وَأَخَّرْ Everything you put forward, everything that you've done, you will be told that day. The person who looks at the situation of the people today and ponders over their situation, you will realize they fall into one of those categories. The believers who believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, radu billahi rabba, they are pleased with Allah as their Lord, wa bil islami deena, and they are pleased with Islam as their religion, wa bi Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam nabiyan wa rasoola, and is pleased with Muhammad as his prophet and messenger and also become pleased bi qada'illahi wa qadari is pleased with what Allah had, had destined subhanahu wa ta'ala and has written those people al mu'minun al sadiqun the truthful believers they are the, they are going to run from Allah yafiruna min Allah ila Allah they run to Allah to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala they run from Allah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Brothers and sisters, you're going to live a very hard life if you don't run to Allah. Wallahi, you're going to live a very hard life if you turn away from this path of returning back to Allah, going back to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكًا وَنَحْشُرُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَعْمَى قَالَ رَبِّ لِمَ حَشَرْتَنِي أَعْمَى وَقَدْ كُنْتُ بَصِيرًا قَالَ كَذَلِكَ أَتَتْكَ آيَاتُنَا فَنَسِيتَهَا وَكَذَلِكَ الْيَوْمَ تُنْسَى وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ Anyone who turns away from fleeing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Anyone who turns away from going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Anyone who turns away from going back to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ That person is going to have a very hard life you're going to live a very tough life in this world. فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ وَنَحْشُرُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَعْمَى And Allah is going to resurrect you يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ blind. And that person will say, قَالَ رَبِّ لِمَ حَشَرْتَنِي أَعْمَى Oh Allah, why have you resurrected me blind? وَقَدْ كُنْتُ بَصِيرًا And I used to see when I was in the dunya. It will be said to that person, قَالَ كَذَلِكَ أَتَتْكَ آيَاتُنَا فَنَسِيتَهَا وَكَذَلِكَ الْيَوْمَ تُنْسَى When the verses of Allah came to you, you turned away from it. You chose not to accept it. And today you will be abandoned in the hellfire. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah does not make us from those people. That Allah does not forsake us. And that Allah does not make us from those people who, who this is said to, وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكًا وَنَحْجُرُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَعْمَى We are weak slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we need him subhanahu wa ta'ala to bestow on us his mercy. Wallah, we have nobody except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's the only one that we have. We can't run from Allah. We can't escape from him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every single person is going to go back to him. And we're going to stand in front of him Yawm Al-Qiyamah Every single one of us As we were first created Naked, uncircumcised And we're going to be interrogated that day We're going to be asked about everything Why did you say this? Why did you do this? Why did you act in this way? We have to have answers for every single thing
we have to have answers for everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ That person's going to have a very hard life in this world. A hard life in this world is nothing compared to Yawm Al-Qiyamah. What's going to wait for us, Yawm Al-Qiyamah will be very severe. If we leave this deen, if we leave the path Allah has sent for us, subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in another ayah, مَنْ عَمِنَ صَالِحًا مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُثَى وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا Anyone who does righteous action, مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى Male or female, وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ Whilst in a state of iman, فَلَنُحْيَنَّهُ حَيَاتًا طَيِّبًا Allah is going to give that person a good life. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is going to bestow upon them His mercy. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is going to bestow upon the person a good life in this world. And Yawm Al-Qiyamah, what Allah is going to give them is Jannah. My beloved brothers and sisters, I want you to understand this point. And I want you to ponder on this point. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the way that we can return back to Him is to always ask Allah for forgiveness for our shortcomings and the mistakes that we come with. We are full of sins. We do sins every single day, every single minute. We're doing sins. We're going against the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The way that we go back to Him is, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, tubu ila Allahi tawbatan nasuha. Repent to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, a good repentance. We ask Allah for forgiveness for everything we've said that was wrong. We ask Allah for forgiveness for every action that we've done wrong. We ask Him for it. Allah says in an, in an ayah, وَأَنْ إِسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ ثُمَّ تُوبُوا إِلَيْهِ يُمَتِّعْكُمْ مَتَاعًا حَسَنًا Allah says, ask Allah for forgiveness. Repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is going to give you a good life. He's going to give you a good life in this world. For that time that you're living in this world, Allah is going to give you a good life. And everybody, Allah is going to give them the virtue that they came with. If you turn away and you do not repent to Allah and you don't ask forgiveness from Allah, Allah says, فَإِنِّي أَخَافُ عَلَيْكُمْ عَذَابَ يَوْمٍ كَبِيرٌ What is feared for you, my beloved brothers and sisters, is a very severe punishment. Allah's punishment is not easy. We won't be able to handle it. So let's repent from our sins and our mistakes that we did. Wallahi, there is no one from amongst us who doesn't do sins. We do it on a regular basis. We're not free from mistakes. With all of that, Allah is showering His mercy on us. He's forgiving us, subhanahu wa ta'ala, laylan wa nahara, day and night. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Kullu bani Adam khatta. All of the children of Adam are sinners. All of us. The one who's talking, and you guys who are listening, we are all sinners. We all do sins and mistakes. And the hadith says, وَخَيْرُ الْخَطَّائِيلَ التَّوَّابُونَ And the best of those sinners are those who repent. The hadith says, the best of the sinners is those who repent. Who ask Allah every time for forgiveness. It's profound, wallahi. It's really profound. 
how merciful he is subhanahu wa ta'ala and how he wants to always forgive us we were told not to do this sin we were told not to commit this crime and we go and we do it we commit the crime we were told don't do this crime he commanded us subhanahu wa ta'ala we go and we do it and then we run back to him and we ask him for forgiveness and he accepts it from us straight away subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah loves it when we run back to him he loves it when we repent and we ask him for forgiveness subhanahu wa ta'ala it's pleasing to him the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi mentioned that Allah is more happier for a person's repentance than a man who's in the middle of the desert that person's in the desert and on he has a riding beast is a camel and on top of that camel is all of his belongings he's got his food he's got his drink he's got everything on it and he's in the middle of the desert and then he loses his riding beast with everything on it he doesn't know where it went he, had it, he stepped under a tree and then his riding beast wandered off he woke up and he couldn't find his riding beast he looked around he couldn't find it and he gave up on it he gave up and he said it's not going to be I'm never gonna find it again and so he gets ready for death and then he he sees his riding beast standing on top of him with all of his belongings on it and because he's so happy and he's so and he, joyful in finding his riding beast again, again he says Allahumma anta abdi wa ana rabbuk akhta min shiddati al farah the person the person he says to Allah you are my slave and I am your lord he gets it wrong because he's so happy that happiness that person feels at that moment is not equivalent to the happiness Allah feels when a person repents that's what the hadith says and that's something I want all of us to take on board Allah loves it when we return back to him subhanahu wa ta'ala and we remember him he loves it subhanahu wa ta'ala I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bimannihi wa karamihi I ask Allah from the bottom of my heart that Allah Taala makes us those who run from Him to Him. I ask Allah Taala He forgives us for our shortcomings, and our mistakes and our errors. I ask Allah He doesn't hold us account for something we said, and something we did. I ask Allah Taala that Yomul Qiyamah, what we see on our scrolls, it doesn't become what we were not expecting. That Allah does not make us from the people. وَبَدَى لَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَمْ يَكُونُوا يَحْتَسِبُونَ That they see on their scrolls يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ They see on their scrolls يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ They were thinking that they're going to see righteous actions and obedience of Allah but what they see on their scroll that day is all the crimes that they did I ask Allah he doesn't make us from that that Allah pardons us from our errors and mistakes inshallah ta'ala that's what I wanted to say in today's Friday night reflection if I've said anything wrong or any mistakes it's from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفرك وأتوب إليك إن شاء الله تعالى بارك الله فيك